God of damage. Oh, shoot. This guy's going to blow. Oh, no. I'm going to go off the edge. No. Oh, shoot. I'm a raven, guys. Take a look at the view. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Making Older Robots Strong. And today, we're going to be using the Griffin. So in the last episode, I used the Leo. So I have the Leo actually in my hangar here. So we're going to be using that as well. But if you happen to miss that video, I'll put a link to that in the video description. Uh, and there should be a card which pops up in the top right corner of your screen as well. But uh, getting back to the Griffin, we're going to be using a uh, Scatten Havoc. Um, you know, we have Last Stand, Advanced Repair. Uh, this is tied to my drone ships, which I'm going to show you in a bit. And uh, here are the pilot skills for this. So the whole point of this episode is to really take a look at, uh, you know, how you can beef up your, uh, you know, an old robot like the Leo or the Griffin, uh, Natasha, using, uh, you know, drone ships. Because I think it could actually be pretty cost effective. You know, when you uh, are working with pilots, it costs so much to kind of change the skills and then, you know, upgrade it. Uh, but with drones, at least you can use your chips and kind of move it around to different robots and stuff. So it makes it uh, more cost effective, I think, in my opinion. So uh, for my drone, I do have uh, two battery microchips here. And uh, we also have two recurrent emergency defenders. So as you can see here, when my health uh, drops below 35%, I'm going to get resistance on this Griffin. So it's kind of going to be like a leech uh, in a way because it's going to be harder to take down. And uh, also when I use my heal, uh, again, this is tied to advanced repair uh, or repair. You can see here, I'm going to get resistance. Okay, so I have two of these stacked and I also have some uh, healing chips. So we have this one here and this one over here. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how this actually goes. So I think um, I'm going to run two games. The first game is going to have the uh, Havoc and Scatter. And the second game, I'm thinking I might possibly use uh, some range. I'm not sure yet. We're going to have to see uh, how we do, you know, with the Griffin. I might even switch it up actually with the flamethrowers, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so uh, before I get started, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a thumbs up and also let me know which robot I should choose next. Should it be the Natasha? Um, I think a couple of you wanted to see the Kozak as well. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but I can always do that. And uh, yeah, let's uh, jump into a game here and let's see how we do with the setup. Okay, so we've just dropped in on carrier map and I have started with the Griffin first. So I already see a couple of shells here. This is probably not gonna end uh, well for me. <laughs> Um, especially if this guy charges us. Oh, shoot, is he? I think we broke his uh, shield, actually. But they have another one here, so I'm trying to keep my uh, distance. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, shoot. I'm trying to see if I can hit that guy. I have to keep my distance. Let's get this phantom. Come on. Yes! Okay, so... Yeah, we have a lot of players here. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Oh, jeez, this player's moving closer to me. I got to get out of here. <laughs> Can I get close enough to this player? Is there a guy behind me? No, there isn't. Yeah, that player's going to keep on detonating. So I'm going to go for center here instead. So the thing, when, when I play these kind of builds... I try to stay alive in them for as long as possible. So I can get that uh, footage. Oh shoot, we've got this. Oh man. I'm trying to I'm trying to walk inside this guy. Oh no. Yes, I just took out a damn Oh shoot, this guy's going to blow. Oh no, I'm going to go off the edge. No. Oh! oh shoot, I'm a raven, guys. Take a look at the view. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah oh, shoot. I shouldn't have jumped that way. Okay, so anyways, that is my Griffin. That was the uh, the first game. I kind of did okay with it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to drop in over here. Forget that. We're going to make things interesting. Now this guy has to deal with me. They must be wondering what the heck is going on. This Leo is freaking tough. We broke his shield. He's trying to move back. But I'm actually going to whoop the shell with a Leo. Whoop by a Leo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This guy... <laughs> They're 
They're, he's moving close. I'm trying to bust the shield. The thing with these weapons is it's uh, it's energy weapon, so it takes longer for me to bust through it. I'm gonna try to heal here. That's gonna help. Yeah, they must be wondering what the heck is this Leo running? Whip by a Leo. Second one. Whip by a Leo. This is becoming more about the Leo than the Griffin right now. Holy crap. Come on, we gotta get a beacon here. <laughs> I like how it just jumps. Oh, come on, move. We don't have time to uh, waste. We need some beacons quick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Heal. I need to try to get this guy down to last stand, last stand. Yes. I'm still alive. Wait. Uh-oh, they've got a Minos here. <laughs> I'm moving around the corner. I'm trying to survive this blitz. I'm still alive. Man, that's crazy. That Leo is nuts. So let me drop in with my Nodens here because we do need some healing. And uh, also, I think we're being attacked. Uh, oops, not this side here. Trying to, uh, trying to hold this beacon down. Um, they have... Oh, jeez, where did that guy show up from? Oh, he took a swim. What the heck? Everyone's taking swims here. I'm uh, trying to heal up. Oh, and there's also a guy behind me. I'm trying to uh, heal. And deal with uh, this guy. I mean, it's five minutes in. We are going up against like a squad or something. So I think we're doing pretty decent. Do we have uh, anyone? Oh, shoot. We have... Uh, I think that's a uh, Nightingale or something there. You know what? This guy should actually move forward. Yeah, he should move forward. He's in a... Oh, shoot. I can't heal this guy up quick enough. Okay, so I'm thinking... Um, yeah, I'm just going to go for it. We need to get some beacons, so I don't have a choice here. If the author is not going to make a move, I have to make a move. Otherwise, uh, you know, the better approach would have been to have him go for this beacon, rather. So if I can get this beacon white... Did he... I think he's moving in now. I think he realizes. So yeah, we, we got that beacon white. If I can get into center, then at least we'll have three beacons. Someone just locked me down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And yeah, they have a Nodens at center. This is pretty much over here. Trying to get that player down to their last stand, but he is going to be going into flight. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> Come on. Oh, man. I try to get some damage in there. Um, let's use the Demeter. So what's going... Oh, that guy, he's still there. Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble at this point. Let's try to do that. Uh, but I think that's going to be game right there. So, really exciting game. It's kind of funny because it actually became more about the Leo at uh, one point. But um, I did a pretty decent job with the Griffin. So, I couldn't really hold down a beacon with it. It's not a beacon defender by any means. Uh, but this is how we did. Okay, so 3.5 million damage. Um, they had some strong players though. Three, uh, four players here that uh, got almost 3 million. Okay, so we've just dropped in on power plant map. And I have started with the Griffin first. So, what I actually had to do here was I had to change my uh, drone chips. Because with this kind of build, you want to lock the player down and suppress them. And the other kind of drone that I had set up, you can't really do that because, well, I didn't have any uh, lockdown of chips. So I have to be careful here of, uh, you know, what these guys might be in. We have a scorpion on that side. Actually, wait, what is this guy in? I'm going to have some uh, company here. I'm not sure what this uh, player is in. I'm going to try to suppress... Oh, it's a Typhon. How about that? Yes, yeah, so I am suppressing and locking him down. I think, yep, that's going to help. I'm not sure about uh, what 
What is this guy in? He's got phase shift. So I am helping against that player. There's another one over here. So you can see the difference. And what I'll do is I'll show you guys, uh, you know, the drone uh, chips that I have for this uh, griffin afterwards. Trying to roast up this leech here. Because it does make a huge difference, um, especially when dealing. Or at least uh, using these weapons. Okay, so I'm now down to my last stand. Um, I'm actually doing a really good job here. This guy's got to watch out. I'm trying to see if I can... Let's just see if I can do this. I don't think I'm going to survive. But you know what? We did a pretty decent job with that griffin. Okay, so let's drop in with the uh, Leo next. I have to uh, remember to show you guys, you know, what I'm running, um, you know, on the uh, drone for that uh, that build. Because it does make a huge difference. Um, we have a shell here. Okay, we probably want to get rid of this guy. I'm going to use my heal to give me... Um, oh. To give me more resistance. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm going to need the heal now. There we go. I think we broke his shield. Yeah, we broke his shield. We need to get another beacon here, quick. Come on. This guy must be wondering, what the heck? This Leo <laughs> doesn't go down. It's crazy how strong this Leo is. We almost... Oh, almost, almost. Where is he? He's over here. Oh, come on. I'm going to get locked down now. Oh, my gosh. He's actually... Is he running away? He's running away from a Leo. That's funny. Oh, jeez. Whip by a Leo. Come on. Whip by a Leo. Oh, almost. Almost. Dude, I almost had him. Okay, let's uh, let's drop in with the shell because we definitely need to get some beacons here. We we only have two. They have a huge uh, beacon bar advantage. I think that guy's going to get that beacon. I'm going to help out with this beacon over here. Let's try to deal with this Typhon. They actually have a two. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go this way. We need to get we need to get other beacons if we can. Because the thing, if I go for that beacon, I still have to make my way up to the top. So it's gonna take me longer to do that. Whereas I can just go for this beacon here instead. So we're gonna do that instead. This guy's out of here. There we go. Whoa, look at this. Are we going to do a 5 cap? It almost looks like it. That's going to help, um, you know, with the beacon bar here. But we do have a... Um, we have a Minos. This might be a bit of a problem. But we are holding this uh, beacon down, so that's good. Come on. Ooh, he's almost down. He's almost down. He's losing weapons. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. I'm just trying to hold this uh, this beacon down here because... Oh, shoot. Wait. Why did he use Shield Breaker? So, Shield Breaker only works against, like, energy shields, absorber shields, Aegis shields. Not against physical shields. Maybe he thinks that you can use it against physical shields. But, yeah, it doesn't work that way with um, that active module. Trying to uh, deal with that guy there. Um, we're going to try to go for this hawk. I need to actually get into my titan is what I need to, to do at this point. I'm trying to see if I can get this hawk down to his last stand. There we go. 
You always want to try to get players down to their last stand because it makes it easier to uh, take them out. Uh, you know, once they have lost that uh, last stand. Okay, so I'm going to drop in with a Nodens here. We need to... We need to get this uh, beacon back. Oh man, I don't know. Uh, okay, wait, I'm going to heal. Uh, can I heal this guy? At least... There's another guy here, which I'm going to uh, heal. But yeah, we do need to... We do need to get into that gap area. It's going to be a problem. We need to get beacons quickly here. Trying to heal up uh, that guy. Yeah, I'm getting totally shredded up. Uh-oh. Trying to make my way to uh, this side here. So if I can get this gap... We will have another beacon, but I'm not, I'm not sure. This is going to be close. Yeah, I have to make my way over here because we have to get rid of him. Even if it means costing me my Nodens. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Oh man, I can't ditch. Yeah, we need to get another beacon here. So, um, I'm going to try to see if I can force a uh, 4 cap. Because we're losing on the beacon bar. So I hope my teammate stays there. I think they're going for another beacon, which is a good idea. So it looks like we're changing all the beacons right now. Oh man, look at look at the beacon bars. So there is a play, I think, above me. I'm going to stay on this beacon for as long as possible. Yeah, I'm going to stay on this beacon because that, that's one way we can actually win this. Let's just suppress this uh, guy. And, uh, trying to heal that one player. Oh, whoa, the beacons, the beacons. Let's use the Demeter quick. I have to teleport to that player. Oh man, look at how the beacons are changing. I'm trying to get onto this beacon. So they can't change it. And I think we might have won, right? Yeah, holy crap, that was close. <laughs> So the Griffin actually did a really good job, um, you know, with the flamethrowers, but I had to change the uh, drone chips. So I'm going to show you, you know, what I did in terms of the drones uh, in order to uh, get that to work that way. And again, it's very specific. Um, I think the other build that I did uh, with the drones is probably the best um, kind of combination I would use for the Griffin because um, the drone that I have right now, for this build is very specific to flamethrowers. So what I have here is uh, two battery microchips. Um, actually wait, this one's a battery microchip. That one's locked down. Eh? So we have that one. We have another lockdown over here. And we have two suppressor. So basically it's kind of like my Typhon igniter build. If you guys have seen it on my main account uh, on iOS, I use two lockdown and two suppressor chips. And also, we have some uh, defense, okay? So we have defense here and uh, even more defense, revitalizing defender uh, when I heal. So that's um, how I got the uh, Griffin to work with those flamethrowers. And um, yeah, in the comment section below, let me know which robot I should do next. And um, I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. Until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.